Hey hi guys welcome to another video in this particular video we are going to talk about is degree is necessary to get a job in cyber security so this video is going to be more of a discussion where i'll be sharing my thoughts and probably not everybody will like it or not 100% audience will accept this but i'm pretty sure that most of the people will get some idea about okay why i am saying like that okay so probably do watch this video till the end and i'm sure this video will help you to change your mind and even uh, make you think that uh, you know whether the cyber security need someone to have completed their degree or not okay so let's get started well first of all let's talk about whether you need a degree or not now i personally think like if some you are someone who is actually looking for a job in like government sector or even if you are looking for a job somewhere like in banking or maybe you are preparing for some like uh, you know a teacher or someone as a lecturer in those particular cases education become very very strongly important like you need to have your degree done or you need to have your msc or maybe masters in order to get become a lecturer right but in cyber security it doesn't work that way okay because you do not have to have like necessarily masters in like computer science or maybe even your mca or other thing to get a job in cyber security which i definitely feel like because i am a person who needs the knowledge behind something or who look at the knowledge whether the particular person is having or not to judge whether he is qualifying for this particular role or the whether he is applicable for this particular a uh, job description whatever is mentioned right so i am not a person who will think like okay whether if you have completed like you know msc or mphil or some masters and then you are coming to me and saying like okay what is this port number 21 means sometimes you ask that and people do not uh, answer that properly and how do you pen test for port number 20 or something i have seen some other guys who have actually failed to and answer those kind of basic questions and they will say like they have completed some of the master degree from some big name right or big institute so it really important uh, to know the basics well whichever field that you are looking for jobs again i am not saying that education is not important it is really really important so do not take it that way like you know some people will think okay i will not study and i will just go ahead and start learning uh, bob sweet and other things so do not take it that way what i mean to say is like choose what you actually love first of all like you need to decide yourself okay whether you are liking this information security again do not go by this uh, facebook post that some people will say or maybe even some twitter post some guy will say okay he has got 10000 usd for reporting some issues like any he can delete some facebook account or <laughs> all those things okay so do not go by those kind of uh, screenshot or do not go by those kind of thing uh, by just by social media post you will see okay somebody has got some nice t-shirt and other thing at your same college but go by something that you really like okay so do not uh, carry away by those kind of post and think like okay i will also join in cyber security and i will also make this kind of money this doesn't work that way if somebody has got some amount then he has definitely worked double time of that particular amount right so he has definitely spent hours in learning those concept and other thing so don't think that way that uh, you know it's really that simple to find some of the vulnerability that you see in bug bounty other thing it's really important that if somebody has found some bugs then he has basically learned or spent lot of times behind uh, you know particular bug again i might have said these things in some different video but that's the truth now one more thing i would also like to say like it's not like that somebody has completed like 90% or even 95% is in their 10th or 12th will have a greater success in life right so life doesn't work that way like you will score some top or you become a top or something and you will definitely have it doesn't guarantee you that you will have a brighter future of course it help in some way but it doesn't ensure you that you will become successful in life i have some of my friend who has scored 90 or 80 percent and still getting like you know less salary than some of the guys who are actually semester failed or even they have some of the backlogs in their semester like 7 or 10 backlogs but they are making more money they are even more successful then um, you know whatever a topper could have been so do not take it that way of course uh, education is important as i said but again i am not trying to say that you should not study another thing and go ahead and do these things but what i wanted to say like from a cyber security or information security point of view it is not always mandatory to have you know 
degree or something but your knowledge is important i hope the hr will also realize like this kind of point going down the line or even different organization will think okay we need to consider these guys rather than guys whoever is actually uh, you know uh, spend more time on studying and they have some different objectives in life so so do not take me in other way but this is what the simple reality uh, check that i am just giving you now another point that i wanted to say is like let's take an uh, example that i am taking interview with a couple of guys one guy has come from a background like he has completed his computer science or maybe some msc or masters and other guy he has actually worked in a particular organization for let's say three or four years right in the same information security domain now in those particular cases the guy whoever has worked in some organization uh, with four or five year experience as an even if those companies are like startup company i would definitely consider or prioritize that particular resume more for that particular a job role rather than the person whoever has uh, you know some msc or master again i am not saying any disrespect but what i am doing is i am looking for the person whoever has completed you know or hands on experience working with a different scenario or maybe even uh, pen testing performing some of the security testing rather than the guy whoever has only studying and uh, he has like you know completed different syllabus and semester so it doesn't work that way definitely if somebody has really hands on experience working on uh, things like a different nets scan or even web exception security or reporting and all those things that matters more for me rather than somebody who has done uh, some of his lecture, i mean uh, degree from some big college or other thing now one more thing that i would really ha- wanted to highlight over here is like there are numerous organization or there are numerous uh, organization that exist in our uh, industry that basically looks for somebody who has completed their degree with 70% or 80% other thing now this is the thought process that we wanted to change or i would like to definitely say that okay do not go by that instead look for the quality of work or whether the particular person has the knowledge or not that is super important than having like 80% or 90% one more thing that we typically see like these days colleges are charging really high amount uh, for learning their degree or even for masters right they are charging some 10 lakhs 20 lakhs all those thing in india which is quite huge amount again uh, i would not blame the college or someone because they are doing their job or they have made the education really high even the people are taking some loan even i am one of the guy who has basically loan for uh, taken the loan for my education of my btech so again it's the things has changed right now that you do not have to be like someone who is actually relying on the loan for some from some bank in order to complete your study now it is there are a lot of uh, free course material already available in like let's say port swigger or even os testing guidelines or even you know try hack me and different portal so there are plenty of resources even different security researcher write their blogs in really nice nice way so there are plenty of resources already exist uh, in our real world uh, in different portal so there are uh, even most of them are free right even udemy you see in my recent post that uh, you know some guy asked making some 30 hour 40 hour course for free for few days like you can sign up and learn even pts or e learn security i have already made a video on beginner cyber security certification so those are really really important if you are having your interest then you will go and get register for those kind of courses and definitely you will learn rather than spending your 10 lakh or 20 lakh in education for your degree now having said these things that do not consider information security field as one of the you know relaxing job it's really really one of the challenging job because it key things are technology in changing very rapidly even every day in day out right i have seen some of the guys who will continuously enable their twitter notification even if we are at a coffee shop or somewhere uh, they will definitely uh, when they see some notification okay some rc happened then they will definitely go and check they read the blog or they will check the tweet right so that is how uh, critical or how uh, you know engaging our cyber security job is rather than like some different job role which i do not want to name which is typically only sitting and other thing right so do not think like cyber security job is really that simple so you need to have your passion and learning and even you need to have your strong interest towards information security only then you will be able to you know get a very good knowledge out of it and even 
uh, forget about the money money comes second but the personal satisfaction comes first so if you have interest only then choose for the cyber security domain again i already provided uh, like already told you about some of the learning links in fact i will also provide some of the links inside this description box so if you are someone who is actually um, you know thinking of starting their career in cyber security then i am sure that this video would have helped you something and also go through these links and definitely sign up and register of course you can subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos uh, or educational video that i will regularly post on uh, related to information security do let me know in the comment box if you have any query and other thing also do like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching have a great day